Good morning. It's great to see you again. Today is Monday. The sun is shining, the air is crisp, and the trees are all decked out in gorgeous autumn color. After I have some coffee and make my bed, I'm going to bring Avery for a walk on the historic Empire Trail. Then I'm going to visit a local orchard to pick up some apples, and I'm going to use the apples in a rustic apple cake. I'll share that recipe with you. So please spend part of the day with me. Guys, it is so beautiful here today. I'm really glad you're coming on this trip with me. Come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every day. That was a great walk. Now we're headed to the local apple orchard because I want to make my rustic apple cake for afternoon tea today. We are at Golden Harvest Orchard. The varieties of apples are almost overwhelming. This is a good baking apple. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something Another good baking apple. Something about you I like. About you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. But maybe I'm escaping the love we found. Gala. All right, I'm getting ready to fix the rustic apple cake. Now this cake is scented with cinnamon, nutmeg, and lemon. Totally delicious. I totally love it. First up, take a lemon, cut it in half, and then I'm going to put the juice in a large bowl. You really only need the juice from half a lemon. Now peel and core three apples. These are the apples that I bought at the orchard earlier today. I really like this apple core because it has this little lever here that allows you to release the core. Okay. Cut the apple in half and then cut each half into, oh, eighth inch to quarter inch slices. And you wanna slice crosswise. And then put the apples into the lemon juice. Give the apples a toss so they're all coated with the lemon juice. The lemon juice is not only going to add flavor to the apples, but it's going to hopefully stop them from turning brown. And besides the lemon juice, I'm going to further flavor the apples with cinnamon sugar. So what you do is take a half cup of regular granulated sugar, put it in a bowl and add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. 
give it a little whisk. And then pour this right over the apples. Now the apples are truly delicious at this point and you might be tempted to eat all of them. Try not to. On to the cake batter. Weigh out 212 grams of flour. That's about one and a half cups of flour. Now to the flour, add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And two teaspoons of baking powder. And by the way, I have a printable recipe over on my website, so I will link that in the description below. Finally, for a little fragrance, I'm going to add just a whisper of ground nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon. Give it a whisk, and then set this aside. Now put one half cup or 113 grams of butter, and it must be softened to room temperature in a mixing bowl. I'm using my stand mixer here. You could use handheld electric beaters. And then I'm going to whip this for exactly one minute. Now I said whip, I should have said beat because I'm using the mixing or the beating attachment here. Then with the mixer at medium speed, add one cup or 200 grams of granulated sugar. And I'm going to beat this for two minutes. You want the mixture to turn light and fluffy. Now, if your butter is sticking to the sides of the bowl, just take a scratch, just take a spatula and scrape down the bowl. Now add two large beaten eggs. Just beat them in. Feel free to stir down the bowl whenever you think it needs it. I'll tell you when the weather is cool as it is here, it's really hard to bring butter to exactly room temperature, you know, so it's the right soft consistency. That I think is why I keep having to scrape down the bowl. Now add one third cup of some neutral flavored oil. Beat it in, then beat in exactly one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. I'm so old, I don't have to measure my extract. Now, at low speed, gradually beat in the flour mixture. And in goes the remaining flour. You don't want to overmix this. Then if you have any bits of flour around the sides of the bowl, just scrape it into the batter. The one good final mix, just with the spatula. Now prepare a square eight by eight inch baking dish. And you wanna grease it lightly. And then if you plan to unmold the cake, as I do, you'll want to line it with parchment or baking paper. The grease in the pan will hold the parchment in place. Now scrape the batter into the dish. And by the way, my oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 190 degrees Celsius. And then smooth out the batter. Now arrange the apple slices on top of the cake. I'd like to do this in three rows. So I start at the end that's farthest away from me and just slightly overlap the apple slices like this. 
This is a rustic cake, but it is a very beautiful cake. Okay. Then flip the pan and do another row going in the opposite direction. Then flip the pan once more and do another row going in the same direction as the first row of apples. Now, if you have any apples left over, just eat them or serve them on top of yogurt or ice cream. Now put the apple dessert on a baking sheet and then pop this into the oven until the apples soften and the cake puffs. That's going to take about 50 minutes. I'm going to let this cool for 15 minutes and then I will unmold it. The cake has cooled for 15 minutes so now I'm going to unmold it. And here's where the parchment paper comes in handy. You can just lift the cake right out of the pan. Just look at how beautifully the cake is browned around the edge, or around the sides, I should say. And again, this thing smells like, well, it smells like autumn sunshine. I'm going to cut the cake into nine pieces. It's fabulous. The cake is moist. It's beautifully spiced with the cinnamon and the nutmeg, plus that hint of lemon. It's sweet, but not too sweet. As I said earlier, I really love this cake. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed your company. In the comments below, please let me know if you might try this cake again really delicious. I hope you will give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not already and be sure to tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.